how you practice this is just like when you do scales, we start off easy. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Hey, it's Ronan Segal, your accordion teacher with the March 2021 Accordion Love Monthly Challenge, where we take a musical idea or a principle and we apply it. Um, so this month's challenge is about bringing life and breadth, making your melody shine. Uh, there are a few lessons about this already on Accordion Love, uh, namely bringing it up an octave. So instead of just playing, bringing it up, easy, nice. This one is just as cool. Instead of playing the melody with one finger, we're gonna play the octave. We're duplicating it. Just like here we did. We're gonna play them both together by playing both keys. That's an octave, octave from eight, eight notes apart. We're playing the same note at the bottom as we are from the top. What I want you to get out of this exercise is the distance. It's so important to be able to do that distance without looking down, eventually. So... Sometimes I switch my fingers, but in general, it's my thumb and my pinky. If I want to get it a bit smoother, I might change to my fourth finger, like... to get a bit more legato. One, five, one, four, one, five, one, four. But, but that's getting a bit ahead of ourselves. The actual monthly challenge, what I want you to do if you're a part of the uh, Accordion Love uh, Forum, is to play a song that you already know how to play. It could be Mary Had a Little Lamb. Maybe I'll use that as an example. And to play it with that octave. So let me show you what it's like to I'll do the challenge. This is Mary Had a Little Lamb with a single melody, metal, melody line, and then I'll use the octave. So. and a shave and a haircut. So that's what I'd like you to do. Take a melody that you already know. Take a song that you already know how to play. And in that song, find the place where you could put that octave melody, that full spread. It doesn't have to be throughout the whole song. Uh, and, and let me talk a little bit more about it. How you practice this is just like when you do scales, we start off easy. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and down. Good. Once you get comfortable at that distance, start doing your triads and arpeggios. And it becomes a little bit harder to jump, for me at least. Sometimes we don't have huge keyboards like this one. Totally okay. Find the key where you can do it in. Maybe it's just from the D to the F to the A. Maybe that's what you practice. Those jumps of one to the three, the first note to the third note. Maybe it's a jump from one to the four, from the D to the G, or from the C to the F. Right? Start practicing those distances again with the idea that six months from now, you're playing a song and you're coming to the end, your fingers stretch to that octave. Your fingers can find that space.
right? It doesn't have to be throughout the whole song. You could save your, consider this like a multi-fingered melody. If you look at my lesson on multi-fingered melodies, we don't have it throughout the whole song, right? I'm thinking of... Um, <laughs> It's there, but then we could do the full thing. To single fingered. Good. So that's the monthly challenge for March 2021. Take a song that you already know. Maybe it's a little passage of a song, and I'd love to see you try to incorporate the full octave melody into it. Maybe it's the beginning of La Foule. Maybe it's in Puruna Cabeza, right? After... of opportunities to expand that melody. It's a different form of multi-fingered melodies. It could be used with this. Yeah, lots of ideas there. And again, for practicing, just do your simple scale together. I just want you to get that distance. You could also break them apart. Good. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.